Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Uncut Takes Podcast. This is episode 18. We got the four back in it. Nick and Wayne are back from uh, the, uh, the City of Angels, uh, City of Sinners, uh, City of uh, uh, Waltz here this time. This is going to be a good episode. We got a lot of shit and, have, yeah, and yeah, none of us were completely absolutely fucking shit face last night so we're all doing pretty good i mean yeah. the only thing i've put in my body today has been beer but <laughs> i'm not shit faced but i'm not an alcoholic yeah, I'm not an <laughs> there alcoholic. you go there I, you go hey, i've been man. drinking miller 64 okay <laughs> guys keep that calories the ultra light one <laughs> yeah the, oh, okay. it's, it's not not uh miller light it's miller light light <laughs> miller yeah. light light the <laughs> ultra light stuff all right. So uh, where do we want to start? I I know where I wanted to start. Kevin just Kevin wrote onto our lovely idea board. It's time for the world to know, which uh, I think takes my place uh, as the new for me as the new most cryptic podcast thing anyone's ever written. You guys said <laughs> I said like fighting the urges or something, and yeah. you were like that's really cryptic and disturbing. <laughs> I think it's time for the world to know. Is the, is Kevin coming out as straight on the podcast? Bum bum bum. <laughs> what, no, I said what I said was. Kevin and Needsy buy a pool. It's time for the world to know. Oh, there oh, okay. were different lines or there something. There were different then. lines, so oh, I, I interpreted oh. it as <laughs> different things. Okay, never, it, we, we can circle back to that. Yeah, then. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you were talking about. So uh, me and and uh, my lovely buddy over here, Nick, we took a beautiful trip out to the uh, the, the City of Angels, as Kevin just described it, uh, to, to, to go to a, the, the Beach Life Music Festival and to go see our lovely buddy Sean, who was yep. on the uh, the episode about Sean. <laughs> who was on yeah. the, the episode the, about the, himself. Sh- sh- yeah, Sean Kelly of the, Uncut, not the, of the uh, Way to Work podcast, mm-hmm. currently under development, uh, to try to resurrect that one down there. One day. Yeah. So... Uh, I guess the the whole the whole trip can, can, can kind of be the, the vibe of the whole trip and kind of be described by the like the way it started, which was the fucking instant we got to the airport, there was a fucking layover. Like we got through TSA, <laughs> I opened my phone and it's like and your like, plane was. Oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, like yeah. It was a, not a layover, a delay. Yeah, that's the worst. Like two hours. The yeah. second we get through TSA, and it happened to one of me. Oh, the one time I went to Cali to visit family out there with me and my brother, and it was just awful. Yeah, I think it was like a like two or three hour like delay. I'm like, right, right. spirit is beyond oh ass, dude. That, yes, it a, wasn't even spirit. It wasn't oh. even spirit. Ours it was wasn't spirit. spirit. Are you no. sure it wasn't spirit? It, no, it was not. I, it was spoke, not. I spoke to your mother today. And she said, <laughs> <laughs> I actually did speak to your mother today, and she said that you flew spirit. I we, were just, we were talking bullshit. about that. <laughs> we ain't doing the fucking public bus of the fucking air. Okay, but while buddy. me and Wayne were waiting for this plane, we walked every single accessible part of the airport every single terminal up and down every single thing we made it a point to walk all the way to the end and then touch the wall and yeah. then turn around and start walking like the there'd other be way. people like <laughs> looking at us walk up touch the wall and look back and just be like talking to friends like do you keep what the fuck are huh? these guys doing what are they, we, a bomb? Hit, are they hit, lost <laughs> do we have a bomb we they're hit. measuring out the inside of the airport <laughs> exactly oh, yeah. yeah it yep. was every imagine single... have those like little things you roll in the ground yeah yeah <laughs> we're making a we literally map. hit every single square inch we, we went past it every every terminal, every shitter, every store. There's like five chicken and pizza in the Philadelphia airport. Which is, yeah, just insane. That's, that's yeah. retarded. So the, many. The, so many. A ton. There's like two or three Chick-fil-A's in there. I didn't even know that. There were I thought there was many. only one. Yeah, there me too. Three. I, I could see two. Maybe right. Maybe like one on one side, one on the other type of thing. But three? God. And then five chicken and pizza? What yeah. the fuck? There yeah, was a ton. Amount. There was absolutely a ton. Anyhow, it's like they just decided yeah. like chicken and pizza will be what represents <laughs> yeah. Philadelphia. So well, let's put that, it in every that like, fucking yeah. terminal. Isn't that I mean, like it? I mean, yeah. isn't it like a, like the super local regional thing here? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's like it's just Philly and like down the shore and that's it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah you that, that got is that it. pretty on the nose. Yeah, so that, that better be it, I guess. Oh, there's one in uh, Glassboro too. Yeah. But still not that many. But before that, it was always the one yeah. right over the, the bridge. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the, the, the plane ride... That was was largely uneventful. I kind of sat next to a guy who was like a fucking a freak. Oh, uh, <laughs> he would just kind of like bubble to himself. I had headphones on, so over here trying he, to suck he, your toes or something. He didn't you know. Never know. You never know. He didn't know that uh, I could hear him, but I could hear him like a little bit. Like when one song was ending and the next one was coming on, and he would just be looking out the window, and we'd be flying over a lake, and he'd be like, "Oh, that's a lot of water." Like he would just like just be saying little <laughs> random shit to himself the whole time. But it almost sounded like I he would was do trying that. to get. Me. Right, but it almost sounded like he was trying to get Wayne or Mai's attention. Wiener? 
Yeah, wiener or my <laughs> wiener. attention. Like it sounded like you wanted us to talk back sometimes, but we both had like noise canceling. No, but you know, I talked to him a little bit before the plane took off, and then like it just it died on the vine. Like the like he, right. just, he wasn't good at having a conversation. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, would, I, would, I gave I up. I just would have been that. like, listen, man, I have headphones on. I'm listening to music. I can hear you sometimes. I don't want to talk to you. No, I well, I, it's a lot easier to just leave the headphones on. Let him believe that I can't hear him. Uh, <laughs> I, I felt like that was the easier thing to do, so that's what I did. Hundred percent, but. The the that was pretty much it for the for the flight. But the the flight lands in Las Vegas. In Las Vegas, we had a layover in Las Vegas and Viva the, Las Vegas. Yeah. How how long how long were we supposed to be there for? How long were we supposed to be there for? <laughs> Not long. Not long. <laughs> like, well, either way, like forty five minutes. <laughs> like forty five minutes because the flight was delayed earlier. Anyways. We said we're not waiting forty five minutes. <laughs> yeah, what was, yeah. I, <laughs> pretty much at the at the same time, we looked at each other. We're like, car. You want to go? You want to rent a car, car? And just fucking drive the rest of the way? Yeah. Yeah. Nick, and, Nick and or Wayne said something in our group chat. Said how funny it, or it's on Snapchat. How funny would it be if the guys rented a car and drove the rest of the way to California? Yeah, <laughs> and then we did. Yeah, then we did. <laughs> like. Was that was it was cool it pricey though. or anything or I yeah, mean including the gas it was like two forty but you guys did that's it not and we split that it, bad so. didn't you guys yeah, do it on one bad. tank of gas yeah yeah we were in L A to or Vegas to L A they went one it's tank like of four gas. and a half hours yeah four and a half we were in like a that's Camry not bad. Though. yeah it was a, it was a uh, four we were in a car Camry, with so. no fucking balls at all dude, dude that, every single time we were merging on a highway I was just flooring it and it barely goes yeah we were we walk up to the guy at the Enterprise, and he's mm-hmm. like, "Okay, what car would you like?" I'm like, "I know we uh we reserved uh you know standard size sedan, but like there's a Dodge Challenger right there. Can we do that?" And he's like, "An extra twenty five dollars a day? Are you sure that's a big amount?" It's like, "Dude, we're renting this car for five hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll take it for yeah. twenty five. Uh-huh. And then we're doing it. We're looking at it, and he goes, "Oh wait." You're not 25, are you? No, you dude. You can't fucking rent a nice was, car if you're It was 24. way more heartbreaking than that, dude. He took, Damn. He took all of I our information. Been there. <laughs> yeah. He took all of our information. He took all of our insurance shit. Well, your insurance shit. Yeah. He, write, he, he put everything in, and he, he plugged it all in, and it's like it wouldn't let him submit. Yeah, the, like the, it just wouldn't work the rental, when he tried the to The rental it. request for that vehicle because that we weren't of age yet. So we, like, you, you see okay. him literally just like, okay. He, he taps on his iPad. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, uh, Come on, okay. The and, then, and then he looks up. Oh, are are you guys? Are you twenty five? We're like no. We're, we're like twenty four and like and, and like nine months. Both of us. Yeah. It's like what the fuck, man. That's, That's so insane. depressing. Yeah, but that, so we got like a fucking Camry. The thing had no balls. Like he said, every time we try to get on the highway, and you get like a sports model, get some more oomph into it. We put it. We put <laughs> it, it was either it was a, a Toyota Camry or a <laughs> Nissan Altima. Yeah. Like those dude, were the choices. I, I would have went with the to, Nissan. Fuck tr- that. No, I would have went with the Nissan. Fuck a Nissan. I tried to hit the. Like hit the guy with it. Like, is there anything American? And he went, no. And I said, <laughs> yeah. No. Is there anything that's like less than standard? Doesn't have to be nice, just no. unusual. <laughs> nah. How about old? Is there anything old? I think our oldest car here is 2020. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like they had nothing. It sucked so bad. It was funny too. Is before we got to that guy, like in it's not in the airport, but like we went to the first Enterprise counter. And they're like, okay, uh, what's your name? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and where are you staying tonight? And we're like, uh, I'm not staying anywhere. We're just driving in Los Angeles, and that's it. And she's like, okay, I need to know where you're staying tonight. Los Angeles. Like, wh- what do you want me to say? Like, we're renting the car, driving it, returning it. <laughs> what do you want me to no, do? Like, <laughs> like, after one of the things, she was like, like... Like she thought we were retarded or something. She was like, <laughs> she was like, yes, I need to know what hotel you're staying at. It's like we're not staying at a yeah. hotel. We're it's like we're, we're not staying at a hotel. We're taking this car from this enterprise. I'm going to Sean's house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to SJ's house. house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the, the, we're going. We're going. How fucked would that be on that fucking form if we put Sean's address? We have your information, my information. And Sean, Sean is just nowhere mentioned on there. And just his address. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, that would be really oh fucking gosh. funny. It'd be the worst thing. And should have just wrote Sean's house. That would have been fucking hilarious. It would have been really after, good. After we, yeah. we set, sal- set, after we set sail in our Camry, the I put a Snapchat of me and Nick driving with like Vegas in the background and shit. And uh, and 
we we got to 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 grab a bite of food at, at, in and at out. In and out, and I'm mm. like, fuck, do I sent that Snapchat? I did not tell Sean that we were going to be driving. The yeah, we, were, we already <laughs> had the rental car. Yeah. <laughs> we're just in Vegas around. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, we're just like dr- like driving around Vegas. I'm like, fuck, I forgot to tell Sean. I he's mean, gonna, he's gonna have to stay up like an extra couple hours, like an extra like four hours. I mean, in all honesty, so like rough. I would have told the Enterprise lady, be like, okay, I'm staying at this hotel and just like have Sean like pick you up or something. That and what that, just she. She eventually it. got it through her head that yeah, like yeah. what was actually happening. Okay. Also, what is fucked is if you don't return an enterprise rental to the same location, they take an extra three hundred dollars security deposit out. I mean, you get it back. Yeah, obviously. you get it back. Oh. But oh. like three hundred dollars. Yeah, like, goddamn. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. They, they, most people, if you're on vacation, you have your 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 extra money padding your account for the vacation. Uh, Dude, yeah. That's uh, three hundred dollar deposit is not included in that shit. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. That's fucked shit. But yeah, tell me what, like what what happened when you called Sean. <laughs> we we saw, uh, so we we called Sean. And how he, far were you into the drive till you called? We Sean? had literally. <laughs> we, it wasn't a matter of like how far we were. It was just like we had just ran the car and we were we were about to have some dinner. And I'm like, fuck, dude, we should probably tell Sean. And I just sent that snap like <laughs> like like fucking you you probably knew before Sean did because when I called him, he hadn't seen it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you guys probably found out before Sean did. Probably. And so the, I call him like, yo, uh, we're we're driving, we're driving. <laughs> and then, like whenever I tell anyone that, they go, oh, you missed your connecting flight, and that's what he was like. Oh, what did you miss your flight or something, or you just didn't want to do it? It's like, yeah, we just didn't want to do it. We just said, well, we'd rather drive. He was like. What the? He he was so confused and perplexed. It was just like it was a very just like, Sean moment. Yeah, he was just like, uh, okay, I guess I'll just stay up for you guys. I, I guess. Uh, I guess. Take a little uh, power I guess nap. That's what you've uh, damned me to do. No, he didn't say that. Said, I guess that's what. And then uh, the later while we're driving, he he texted you right. Well, so I drove like the first half of it, which is two hours and some change or whatever. And then Wayne drove, and I texted Sean. I said, "We're set to arrive around like." 145 or two or something yada, like yada, that yada, yeah. blah 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 and he said he wrote to me said i'm literally drinking coffee to stay up because of then in all caps some people had to drive from <laughs> vegas to la you guys are lucky that i love you <laughs> Yeah, we Sean, love you Sean, too, Sean. Sean was a, you can tell when, when Sean got us from the Enterprise, he was a little like cranky. He was a little uh, like, oh, he, underslept. He was, he was not, <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> so next, so next year, if you guys go again, oh, doing it again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. yeah. We're, we're just buying the flight to Vegas. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're not. You know, yeah, yeah, really. I, yeah, man. We're gonna get something fucking nice. We're gonna get a fucking the. Chat. So since you didn't do your other flight, how much money did you lose on that? I mean, you didn't lose anything because it, you paid to go from Philadelphia to Los Angeles. Oh, okay. That can, like, it doesn't cost separate for that other flight. Okay. Yeah. That's nice then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We didn't, like, lose anything, really. No. But, yeah, Except we, we spent a lot more. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not, you know. We, we got there. We had some delicious in and out in Vegas. Dude. And then we jumped on I could on die the, for some internet right now. I'm I guess, I've still, I'm still a virgin to it. Never had Kevin, it. it's I'll pretty good. It's it's pretty Next good. Next year, if I go with you guys, dude. It's pretty good. It's it's tremendous value food, but it's not like to nut over. Like, Walter is on the bandwagon. Well, wagon. I don't know. When he went to California, you know, might you have know. been a little more inebriated than most. <laughs> Dude, when I, I went to California, good. I was a little more inebriated. I had it sober and I had it hammered. It was both. Good. It was good, good times. I had, it, it I was, had I'm, everything. I'm the, I, I want to see how it is when I'm absolutely stoned out of my fucking gourd. But what's crazy about it is like you're in the middle of Los Angeles. Everything's expensive as shit. Yeah. And you get like a combo there for eight bucks. Yeah. Like it's cheaper it's, than fucking Wendy's here. Yeah. yeah. Damn. It's cheaper it's, than it's, McDonald's it's, here. And they yeah. do everything in the place and they all wear mm-hmm. uniforms. It looks like you're in the nifty fifties. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. It's crazy. That, that's, uh, that's why I feel like i nut over it oh it's really good because yeah. it is good and it, like you nah shut up you're a fucking bandwagoner you're a bandwagoner <laughs> tourist i fucking you're fucking it not so fucking good you can't come up with a reason why other than food different is <laughs> it's good it is pretty good and it's good it's a tremendous value but the and and i would say i would eat there over mcdonald's every yes. day yes. even if i live there just wait what you eat there you've eaten there I don't yeah. sell chicken strips. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he could do a, a plain cheeseburger with no onions. You know, uh, from yeah. time to no time, onions spice or tomato. Up. Yeah, mm-hmm. no mustard that upsets his tummy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I put mustard on it. Oh, really? You yeah. eat mustard? Very little, very proud little. Of, proud of you. Oh, okay. that, proud of that's you. a good one. What about spicy mustard? No. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. You can't it's do spicy, spicy food. baby. <laughs> 
<sighs> uh, that's coming from Wayne. <laughs> yeah, dude. The, the, the Nick, Nick, what, the, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get. We're gonna come up to the spicy part of the trip. The literally spicy. I was we'll, we'll get to it then. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get. We'll get up to it. But the. But anyway, uh, so we get to Sean's place, and I was his roommate awake when we got there. No, we saw him the next day. The first time we saw him was was in the morning. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, we meet Sean's roommate the next morning. We all wake up. We're sitting around breakfast table. Yeah. After we went out and got some bagels or something. He sits down. He like made some eggs or something. He sits down at the table with us, cracks open a PBR with his eggs. And Wayne goes, drinking with breakfast. Hell yeah. And the guy goes, what time? <laughs> and like you, I, you could tell. He meant that. Dude, it wasn't yeah. a joke. Like, 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 he didn't know what he was, was happening. He was a he was like a like medium build, long hair, like the the facial hair wasn't out of control, but you could tell it was, he, it was, he, he it was didn't give a shit. It was out of control. It didn't look bad, but you could tell he just didn't give a shit. Yeah. Like, it was that way because he chose or forgot to shave for five days or whatever. <laughs> yeah, and he he was just such a he was like like super like chill and just fucking like what what time is it? What are you talking about? <laughs> what day? <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah, just drink a PBR with breakfast. <laughs> the, he the. Uh, like we're not gonna dox the guy, but the, Sh- Sean Sean tells us like, oh, the, you know this like semi famous musician from back in the day. Semi famous. He say is famous. extremely yeah. famous. This is, well, I know. I I know that. Like, I don't know. I don't know. You, to put you're it, not gonna say the guy. Well, yeah, I know. To put it, you know, a pretty famous guy with a with like five songs that were fucking everybody massive, knows. Everybody knows. Songs. Okay. And the uh, he's his grandson. He's this guy's grandson. Ah. The, he's a grandson of of a uh, royalty. This guy. <laughs> royalty. Yeah. Royalty. And the the, the the I feel like just like that just added to the like the mystical factor. <laughs> yeah, like, this is this damn. this guy is the grandfather of Sean's <laughs> roommate. Damn. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, what the, he was he was the, the guy was like a fucking he he didn't have a job. He, he has like I drive for this company like two times, times a month. Yeah, it was what like were his two cars? He had he like had a, a BMW. And which like, is like the everyday car yeah yeah and like the an beater. amc rambler in like pretty good shape from like the 50s 60s yeah something like old, that. 50s or 40s yeah man. maybe it even 40s old as hell that the, super old car for, for the uninitiated and he's like yeah hey. for the uninitiated amongst us an amc rambler that, that's a car that has not been made in like in like 80 years or some shit it's, right. a, it's a car that has not been made in a fucking very long time yeah, and he just has one. And it's yeah. in their only spot that they own at their apartment complex. <laughs> yeah. They can park in it. It's just parked there always. It's there. It's yeah. not moving. So they have to do street parking, but yeah. it's not bad. They have a pretty decent place for it. That's good. Oh, yeah. Dude, that was another thing. Sean, like, high key lives in, in like, a. Uh, like, real, extremely nice area. Well, like, that's, I that's, go as far to say that for Los Angeles. That's good. Yeah. For, I was going to say, for, probably for LA, that that's good. <laughs> like, yeah. he lives like 10 minutes from, like, mansions. Um, from what now? From who? Who were the two? Oh, people it was uh, Al Pacino, Al Pacino and, Jeff Goldblum. and Jeff like ten wow. minutes away. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's ten minutes without jumping on the fucking uh, highway. Uh, yeah, that's life, just life finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. the other thing I want to say about Sean's roommate that was so funny is, you know, <laughs> Sean's a comedian. A little <laughs> bit of you know uh, exaggeration here or there. It's part of the act. Nah, SK. Yeah. <laughs> Sean goes. I'll go to work. This guy's playing Mario Kart. I come home, he's sitting oh, there playing play Mario, Mario Kart, Kart. Like, <laughs> he for said, 10 he said, hours yeah, or some shit. The, the, we, we left the house. Living the go, dream. We left the house to go do something. And Sean goes, right after he said that, he said, we're going to come back, and he's going to be in the same spot where we left him doing the same thing. And then we go to a festival for fucking 10 hours and come back, and he's playing fucking Mario Kart on the couch. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting right That's where crazy. he fucking left him. Like, he's not even kidding. This dude actually does this, like, every day. Yeah. He he was pretty funny, man. The, the oh, one, he was funny the, as shit. The one though, day yeah. he, he came in, we beat him back there. One day, mm-hmm. and he came in, was like, "Yo, guys, how you doing? Anybody want a paps?" He was totally high. He just oh, he, yeah. he came to the door, just comes flying in the door mm-hmm. like like Kramer on Seinfeld. <laughs> hey, what's up, guy? Like, like you know, granted, he does own the place, but then yeah. you know, he could, comes flying Still. to the door. Hey, guys, what's up? Who wants a paps? And I'm like, like I was I was already hammered. I was dying for a paps. <laughs> I was gonna go yeah. score one anyway. Yeah. So, I was some like, nice yeah, golden liquid. One. He comes over, give. The, I was the only one who asked for one. He gave you one. He gave Sean one, and he yeah. got himself one. Yeah. The I, you know, we're all <clears throat> sitting, drinking, chilling, whatever. And then it's fucking like the end of the, it's like fucking midnight or something. So Nick and Sean go to bed, and I just sit out with the on the couch with the guy because that's where I was fucking sleeping. Yeah. And uh, and the, 
He's sitting there and he's about to go to bed and he, he goes to clean up everything and he picks up Sean's beer, which is like cracked but full. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, oh man, Sean didn't finish his paps. <laughs> and, oh, they're drinking out of the bottle? Out of the, out can, of the can. can. Oh. He goes, damn, Sean didn't finish. He, he picked it up to, you know, said it was full. Yeah. Sean didn't finish his paps. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just trying to go to bed and get the guy to go away from me. So I'm like, you should just, you should go give it to him, make him finish it. He went, okay. And he, 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 just, he, walks, <laughs> he walks over to Sean's bedroom they had been asleep for like a half hour at this point. Yeah. He just he walks over to Sean's bedroom, lightly knocks, does a little, and then walk just opens the door and goes in. <laughs> and he goes, yeah. He just very very, very softly. Hey Sean, <laughs> you have to finish your paps. <laughs> By the way, I was laying on the floor. He was standing. He was straddled over yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> like he was Sean standing going, over top of me, hey, holding Sean, a paps. You finish like, shoot, that's great. Yeah, literally man. just sticking it in Sean's face. Yeah. That, that's, Sean was dead asleep. It was like what. <laughs> <laughs> his that's eyes some rolled back into his head. <laughs> that's some shit we would do. Yeah, hundred percent. That was really fucking funny. Sean oh just my looked god! Down and was like, yeah, man, I'll finish. <laughs> and he just put on the nightstand. <laughs> and it's leave it there. Days. It'd be the Jesus it'd be the Christ. two o'clock in the morning drink that yeah. I need when I'm hella thirsty. Yeah, Dude, it was so funny. <laughs> That was really fucking Sean, funny. you forgot your paps. <laughs> that's you gotta finish your paps, man. <coughs> yeah, but that's all I gotta yeah. say about his roommate. He's a weird guy, but he's funny as shit. What, when, what about the the fish? Oh, yeah. No, dude. Do we talk about the fish? Yeah, yes. we talked about, about the fish. Yeah, so, we, the, so there was a... I, I, I was oh, sleeping no. on the couch and directly in front of me on the couch, so like to the side of the couch, but in front of me when you're laying lengthwise on the couch, it, he had a, a fish tank, tank. Okay. with these exotic looking fish there. And we came home from from one day. Uh, I don't know. We, we came home. It was the day that he wasn't there. Like when he, you know, the day of the Pabst incident. And he, the, we come home, and I'm like, "Fuck! There's a fish." It the, there was like this basket floating at the top. It, like there was water in it, but the basket was up like up towards the top, and there was a fish stuck in it. I'm like, damn, this fucking fish is stuck. And I, I looked hard at this fish for like a while to yeah. make sure like it, it was still alive. Its fin was was fluttering weakly independent of any current in the tank his eyes were moving and his mouth was i'm like this guy's alive but barely barely yeah like it's probably because he's trapped in this bucket needs some so suc- i, I reached, circulation so i reached in <laughs> and, and threw him back in the, the into like the main part yeah threw him back into gen pop and the <laughs> gen pop and that was uh, with a lot of uh persuasion by me he was intoxicated yeah he was intoxicated I threw yeah, him, we were, were all both intoxicated yeah <laughs> i threw him back in Hours go by. <laughs> the the day goes by. We're sitting on the couch. Me and the, the roommate drinking the Paps Blue Ribbon. Sean, not so much. And he goes, he, the guy looks at his fish tank and goes, how did he get out of that bucket? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we all just looked at each other. We're just like, <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's pretty incredible. <laughs> the, the, how do you the, do it? If I may ask, why did you put him in there? And he goes, oh, he was dying, so I put him in there. <laughs> <laughs> he was dying, so, you know, I, I had put him in isolation. I thought he got in. I, I thought it was the other way around. I thought he was dying because he got in there, yeah, but he was in there the because way he was around. dying. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know. I guess he had a, a, a little. that bucket. <laughs> oh, so so funny. funny. I guess he had a little spurt of life. And we, with the, we all just like just stopped talking about it after that. We're just like, uh, <laughs> yeah. so how about the, the YouTube video, or whatever the fuck we were watching? I would have I would have laughed for, for some reason because I know what fish, if they're like sick or whatnot, you should take them out of like the main population. Really? Right. That, that's what the fucking guy did. Like if it had some type of like killing disease and like all these other exotic fish just started like right, belly up, right. <laughs> it's like <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I didn't kill that all that guy's uh, fish. Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so that when, when we were at the festival, the as Sean and Nick have enlightened us too because they went the year before. We smuggled in uh, just Alcohol. straight <laughs> Bacardi rum. <laughs> yeah. In sunscreen containers. And Which takes a fucking while to clean out. Yeah, to the dude, point sun, you can drink out. Sunscreen clings to the sides of the It's oily. Way yeah, oil it's all oil and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you need to, get, you need to use cream. the good Dawn dish soap to yeah. get that shit out, man. Then use some vinegar and hot water. It takes a while. <clears> yeah, it works. It works surprisingly. Anyway, well. we we smuggled it in on our first day, like pretty much without a hitch. The, like this, there were security guards searching bags, and they were they, and they knew that people were doing this, so they mm-hmm. picked up the sunscreen. They would give it a shake or whatever. In some cases, but we Sun- filled them to the brim, so there was no room. You know? Yeah, there, no, there was no, no shake. Slosh, yeah. Slosh, yeah. The so the first day, boom, goes off without a hitch. The second day. Not so much. Mm. The, before we went in, 
I'm like, we should probably hit like separate lines, you know, to to maximize our chances of success here. Right. Nick goes and finds a line. I go and find a line, and then Sean comes in right behind me. <laughs> this I'm, fucking I'm like, dumbass, Sean. What are you doing? And of course, I picked the line with a fucking guy who's checking and doing his fucking job. Yeah, so, he's not a smooth brain. Yeah, so he grabs <clears throat> he grabs my sunscreen, gives it a little shake, and and his his spidey sense goes off. He pops open the lid, and I, I smeared a little bit of sunscreen on the top to make it look yeah. like it was sunscreen, mm-hmm. and he, he gives it a smell, and he, he can't. Yeah, detect, he can't detect anything. It. He goes, okay, put some on real quick. <laughs> I was like, fuck. So I, I just grabbed the shit off the top and put it on. He goes, nah, really, put some on. <laughs> so I just, I just tipped it real quick and put some of the rum into my hand and r- rubbed the rum on my face. <laughs> and he was like, the, he, it spilled. It went everywhere. Like I had rub all over. He was like, he was like, yeah, you can't have that. You got yeah, that's got to go. The I'm happy they didn't call the ATF on me or whatever. But yeah. the, they were just like, yeah, you got to throw that. He said, you can throw it in the trash. Or you could chug it all right now. <laughs> Is that a challenge? Is that a fucking challenge? I'm going to say, you've done it before. <laughs> dude, I'm not no, wrong. Dude. I, I've already... I was. Uh, you should have taken like four or five big this gulps. Swigs this was be like, also okay. like at noon. In hindsight, nothing in the stomach. In oh, hindsight, I, I agree. I should have done it. I really should have done yeah. it. Yeah, I, I would At least you could have gone half. You know, I spent so much money, dude, on alcohol that day. The oh, fucking yeah, the cheapest dude. beer was like twelve bucks for yeah, a little can of beer. Yep. It was mm-hmm. fucking atrocious. Don't, yes. dude. You don't Everything understand how expensive it was. You don't have a fucking clue, man. It's not like regular it was beyond stadium prices. price. It was. Be- well, I'm like just, I'm just saying because one, you're at a concert. Or a festival, no, I'm and saying, then two, you're you're, at, not, you're, you're in not, Cali. You're not listening, boy. <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, you go to a you go to a regular fucking concert, and you can get like a tall boy for like thirteen dollars, mm-hmm. which is still fucked because yeah, the, because the, it's you can get them for a buck at the at the store or whatever. They were doing regular cans, yeah, regular size cans, regular cans of beer for thirteen dollars. Yeah. There weren't even tall boys to be had. Mm-hmm. Everything was beyond fucked. That's way more fucked than a regular concert. Yeah, it was so bad. Anyway, I spent. Uh, well, I got a significant. I got portion mine of in paycheck. the second day. <laughs> yeah. So, well, <laughs> Sean was behind you. So, yeah. what happened to Sean? The the fucking same thing. The guy fucking the guy grabbed it, did the same thing, put someone. Sean put someone. Nah, I really put someone. Sean was like, yeah, I'm the, I'm the same as him. And the, and the the I walked away. I, I was already. I was so pissed off. I could have fucking killed the guy. But the, <laughs> the, uh, the motherfucker. Yeah. The, <laughs> The uh, I had some choice words to share with the boys after that occasion, but the, <laughs> the, uh, the apparently the guy was like, "Yo, I got I got to give it up to you guys though. That's some really good stuff. The sunscreen on top that would have gotten most people. Uh, so at yeah, least they he, liked it. At least he, he could appreciate the, I, the, the craft, you know. I've seen where like the there's actually like a little compartment still for sunscreen. That's what we're talking about doing next time. Yeah, like next get a time, condom or something, put it mm, over the edge. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're not gonna get anything purpose built. We're gonna do it ourselves. We're DIYers. <laughs> we're blue collar say, enjoyers. Blue collar DIYers. But yeah. I would say definitely uh maybe invest into some more time or invest into something where like it's like oh sunscreen yeah. see it's on. Yeah. As I bite them. This isn't yeah. even on this list, but I just want to say fanny packs are underappreciated. Oh, yeah. They are frowned the upon fanny pack way too much. Comp, uh, yeah. pod- they are so good for certain things. Oh, for, when like you that, don't want to have festivals a and stuff on, like that. I could, like, do I put a battery bank, my mm-hmm. phone, my wallet, and actual sunscreen? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All in there? Dude, like, come on. Oh, yeah. I agree with that. I, I would love rock them. one. Love them. I did love that. But the, the there was a this happened on the first day. This feels like a lifetime ago. The first day of that festival actually feels like Dude, it, was it feels 10 like years we were ago. there a month ago. I know. Like <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's been so long. Like we were there a week ago. But, but the, yeah. the, there was this fucking guy who was uh up near where we were when we were gonna go see the uh someone. We were gonna see some of the some musical artist, whoever the fuck it was. And uh, he had this blanket, and he was super fucking like aggressive about protecting his spot. Like, yeah. Like, like, and he was up against like the edge of of our area, and people would just like when you're going from the back up towards the stage, people would just ride that line up to the front. And this fucking guy, he like he drug a trash can over in front of the blanket, and be like, "Yeah, there's a trash can here. You got to go around. You got to go around it." And that the, anytime like you know like when someone bumps into you at a concert, you kind of just move out of the way a little bit and let them go yeah. by or whatever. Anytime someone bumped into him, he would just fucking freak. He he wouldn't freak out, but he wouldn't budge at all. He, he and sometimes he would even he would even go into him a little bit, and he he did this for a while to a lot of people until some the the, the guy was like kind of well, how tall you think the guy was like the like not as tall as us but like still kind of big five ten five ten like ma- maybe five eleven yeah 
But the, the decent sized man, he had some girth on him. He was, <laughs> yeah. he was thick. He was and, and thick. And yeah. thick boy. So this this lady, this like a this butch lesbian lady, <laughs> that she she had the look like where you could tell like she, you know she wanted to prove that she was uh, not your average butch lesbian. That's the vibe that I got she from her. She was tough, you know. Yeah, she was she was built Home Depot. Fort tough. before built tough. <laughs> yeah, Home Depot tough, dude. She was the the evening manager at Home Depot. <laughs> the she bumps into the guy and he bumps back into her and she's like. Uh, dude, can you move? And he was like, "Now nah, you got to go around." He starts to like push her out of the way, and she she like jumps right in the, down the guy's throat and goes, "You put your hand on me again, I'll fuck you up." And this guy, his eyes <laughs> widened, and he cracked a, an evil smile like the Grinch, dude. Like uh, he was waiting, he for was waiting to go down. No, yeah. dude, he was waiting his whole life to hit a woman. That was like the evil <laughs> smile vibe I got from this guy. Like uh-huh. he was just like, it was the most deranged so evil. You. Like, you. No, was- dude. <laughs> It was de- it was deranged. I wouldn't smile before I did it. But anyway, that the, they were they were literally and then they and the, like and they were each other's faces. But this was all happening behind Nick and Sean's back. They didn't yeah. even see any of this. The, <laughs> You're they, just sitting there they were, in they were bar, just bumping into each other, motherfucking each other and shit. What they were like chest bumping, like yeah, fat yeah. pregnant bitches yeah. in a baseball game. Like the guy on so- like, like on South Park, swing, bro, swing, swing, yeah, swing. Yeah, yeah. They're just walking right. No, you swing, man. Yo, you swing. Yeah. They're, they're doing all this shit, and then the and then the this this the. The guy had had the boomer guy had a wife and the, the lesbian I know is a lesbian because she had a girlfriend the little like a like a normal tiny you know the butch she, lesbian and the yeah. normal lesbian and the uh, I'm getting canceled for that one but the, <laughs> the you know it's okay I I gave Wayne permission I'm gay. <laughs> thank you I appreciate that I'm an ally anyway he's allowed the, to hate on our culture <laughs> the, uh, the 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 butch lesbian lady starts starts fucking with the guy's wife goes over to the the guy doesn't even care the guy didn't even notice didn't even care the 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 butch lesbian goes like. R- removes the aggro from him onto the guy's fucking wife and she starts getting in the wife's face. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I'm just trying to enjoy a concert over here. And I, I grabbed the, the, the lesbian lady, the, the aggressive lesbian lady. And I was just, I just like smacked her on the arm. I was just like, like, get the fuck out of here. Like, just, I don't want to deal with this shit. I'm trying to watch a fucking show. And, and she walked, she huffed by and her, her little girlfriend just kind of looked like, gave me like the, that look like, I'm sorry. Like the, I'm sorry you had to do it by abusive husband look. <laughs> it's just really fucking <laughs> fucked up. Almost puppy eye type like. Sorry. No, like, like the, the one bitch that was from the Alexandria in, in uh, The Walking Dead. She was dating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, given it was, that, it was, yeah, <laughs> it was that look. It was that fucking look. One of my favorite parts about that is probably like 20 minutes before that or maybe a little bit more. <laughs> we have a picture with that guy. Mm. The oh. boomer? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> There's a picture of us, like Sean Wayne, myself, that guy, and then like a group of like five, like 19 year olds. Yeah. Dude, I don't they, remember the, how that came to be. It but. was because <laughs> going back to fanny packs, I had a fanny pack and apparently this was on my, my, my uh, airplane pillow too. So apparently like the Target brand shit that they sell at Target has this weird little tag on it that doesn't have the Target logo. It has this little thing that's just green and yellow. It's like army green and yellow. And Nick and Sean are fucking hammered out of oh, the doors. Oh, that's what it was. Because it looks like the Ukraine flag. Bro, it doesn't <laughs> because it's green. So that's that's how we met these people. The, yeah. the, the boomer guy was the first person I saw. I went, yeah. hey, bud, what color is this? What color is this? Green or yellow? And he what was color like, is it? He was like, yeah, it's green. And then right after he, he got it, this group of, of kids is going past us. And I, I grabbed one of like the I, he was the, the second guy that I saw. I grab him. I'm like, what color is this? And he goes, uh, that's green. And then he flags over all his friends. Yo, what color is this? Get yeah. over here. What color is this? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what it was. That's how we got to all these Jesus. people. And then we ended up just talking to him. And yeah, shit dude. For I was like, talking to the one guy. I was like talking to the one guy. And, and he was like, dude, the fucking security here sucks, man. They they took all my fireball shooters. I had 35 <laughs> fireball shooters. Jesus and they took Christ. them from me. Yeah. And I'm like, did you try to hide them? I'm like, he was like, no, I just had them in my back. Backpack. Like, well, that's why they got it for. He goes tomorrow, and he points to like his girlfriend or whoever. She already said we could tape them all to her next time. They're not going to search her. I'm like, okay, what? Well, like, he was going to tape it to him. Like, it's a fucking bomb at the bomb end. Bomb or <laughs> fucking the, 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 of the, cocaine. The the, uh, the fucking. Uh, then then he goes, and you know what else they fucking did? I'm like, what? He goes, they cut off my. You had to get a wristband. You had to you had to go in, show yeah. your ID, one. prove ah. you're 21, and get a wristband so you could drink. They took my my drinking wristband. And I'm like, well, are you 21? He went, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs>
Jesus. Uh, uh, then I was like, I was like, dude, what? Like, you got to get the the sunscreen like this. I popped open my thing, whoosh, squirted a little bit in my mouth. Yeah. He was like, man, they were like, like, like his Bible boy was like, that's good, but. I want to bring beer in. And I'm like, why would you want to bring, I'm like having a debate with this kid. I'm like, why would you want to bring beer in, dude? This is like the most bang for buck shit over here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Their standards are still too high. Yeah. Dude, they'll lower with time. Oh yeah. If I go to that next year, I'm going to wear a pair of those, the fucking runway fucking <laughs> high top that look like this <laughs> for the, and a ho hollow out the bottom. That way you can put a whole bottle of booze in there. <laughs> That's pretty fucking funny. 750 of like crack or something. <laughs> yeah. These are just my shoes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? These are just my shoes. <laughs> but yeah, it's hilarious. It's just because of that fucking flag that looked like Ukraine. Like we ended up talking to like seven people seven, and we yes. just have a group photo with them. Yeah, That's we have funny. a group photo with Damn. a guy who almost beat the shit out of some lady. And a bunch of 19-year-olds. Yeah, he was like Damn. somewhere in the background and I was fucking hammered. And I grabbed him. I was like, get in this picture. Yeah. And he's like, get over here. Okay. <laughs> the old yeah. guy? Yeah. 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 Jeez. It was pretty funny. Yeah, it was good. And then what else we got? Talk about fucking haircuts in Los Angeles. Dude, this triggered you way more than me. I mean, it triggers me it, too. Because it was it was still fresh. It was still fresh in my mind. It, we, we had just discussed on the previous podcast, Kevin pays too much money for a haircut. Speaking of that, today I went to get a haircut today. Yeah, and the, how much did you pay for it? Straight razor on the head. I know. I called fifteen <laughs> places in in Jersey that do haircuts, and I I said, "You guys do straight razor? No, hang up. You guys do straight razor? No, hang up. You guys do straight razor? Yeah, we actually do. Oh, great. Uh, do you have any appointments tomorrow? Nah, you're gonna have to plan three weeks out. Fuck you. Hang up. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I finally came across one and. Man, I really want to say the name of it, but now I can't. Um, I'm pretty sure I already said it last night. Um, and I got the haircut done. $35 for the guy to shave my head with a fucking razor. Jesus Christ. That's a, I hope that'll be the last time you do that ever. It is, 100%. Okay. Okay. I will yeah. never go back to that guy. Dude, you know what's crazier than $35 for a haircut? And that's an involved thing. You know, that's involved, you know, straight razor. Yeah, like, that's, that's like a sports yeah, skill yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the fuck? What was Sean saying? 50, 60 bucks to get like a Sean's basic ass haircut? No Minimum. offense, Shawnee boy, but the, like, <laughs> like with, with a haircut with clippers. Like his haircut, my haircut, Walt's haircut, a fucking haircut with clippers that I could learn how to do in 25 minutes on YouTube. 60 fucking dollars just for the fucking haircut. Sean and Needsy, like the same way, like Needsy, the way that he looks mm. for Sean is like, you have you start an RPG game and you have the option to customize your character and you just hit skip. <laughs> <laughs> the, Default. The, the the sixty fucking dollars for a fucking That's haircut. The, the, I was like, what in the fuck? And then his fucking roommate chimed in later. He was like, oh the no you know it was, it was I I asked them the uh, I asked him and he had a buddy. Remember yeah, the buddy was yep, there? Yep. The buddy was like, oh man, I gotta get my haircut. And it was right after we had talked about haircuts last time. So I asked. I said. Like how how much how much you pay for for a haircut, man? And he was like, uh, like eighty bucks. He was even higher. Sean's going to the discount place. Yeah, Sean's yeah, going. Sixty is like 60, the discount. Yeah, sixty place. is like super cuts. What the fuck? right? Like that's yeah. not like a private salon thing. And th they were going back and forth about expensive haircuts. Yeah, I'm like usually like an eighty ninety dollar haircut range, but I've seen people do easy a hundred fifty two hundred dollars for a haircut. That's insane. Like that's beyond fucking like insane. the a hundred plus like. Okay, if you're fucking famous, go I fuck can yourself, see dude. I don't care, man. I'll be famous. I'll never get my fucking haircut. I mean, different. I'm not saying I'll I fly in. No, I'll fly in some Jersey trash. Yeah. Into if you it. take a spirit flight if, and you book at the right time of year, dude, you're not even wrong. It's cheaper to get a fucking spirit flight to back home to New Jersey and then fly back to get uh, then getting a fucking retarded expensive haircut. The only thing, the only time I get my haircut is like special events. Like I have a wedding coming up in in June. I'll get my no. I'll get a, no. My hair cut. Well, get and a fade, the, there was get that my... one time you had cancer. Yeah, that too. <laughs> and then I'll... that's a joke, by the way. He never did. <laughs> no, I never did. That's that is pure joke. But other than that, like when it gets too long, I just get my trimmers. Put put the two uh, two uh, level trimmer thing on and just, pff, the guard. Yeah, and just, but pff, and just do it myself. Right. You, you know what it is though. You know what Sean said anyway. And and the more the, the more time that we spent there, the more I start to believe it was that. That, that everyone who lives there is, is so fucking vain. Everyone there is so fucking that the, they're into themselves. They're in oh, love yeah. with themselves. Like that's just that. part 100%. of the culture of living yeah. out there. It's a narcissistic we, we, place. We, oh, we took a drive to out of like normal LA into like the Malibu area. 
to the ghetto? No. <laughs> Dude, the, the Malibu area, the, the, how many fucking like like extremely exotic cars did we see? There? I couldn't I couldn't even imagine. Dude, like like the, the ratio of of normal cars to exotic cars like anywhere in the world is usually pretty low. <clears throat> yeah. It, it it started getting to like like a number like a ratio that was easy to imagine. It was like yeah. very close. Like, like, every every 10 like cars one, I was going to say like a 1 to 5 type yeah. of thing. Like you'd see Lamborghini, Ferrari, yeah. like a million Porsches. Oh yeah. Uh, and like not like cheaper ones, like expensive yeah. ones. Yeah, it was Fucking More your ins- top line. We, we saw that. I, I, you have to send me that video, by the way. We saw a fucking oh, yeah. guy picking up pizza in a Bentley, in like, a white Bentley with a white interior, and he's picking uh, up a pizza Jesus. from a joint. Yeah, put it on the seat. It was. You <laughs> probably did. I think he did. <laughs> he did. He probably did. Where else are you gonna put it in your lap? The fucking. And, and he was wearing fucking leopard print like gym shorts. <laughs> yeah. Oh Jesus. The, the fucking guy with like convertible uh, fucking Bentley. It w- it was insane. The, the the it was the. It was so fucking insane. Was out the convertible there. Uh, tan or white? <laughs> like the top. It, w- it was the kind that recedes inside, so we couldn't tell. Yeah. Okay. Dude, it's a fucking Bentley, not insane. a fucking. Well, I know. It's usually, usually when it's a white, <laughs> when it's usually a white car, it's usually the, the same color or a tan. It, right? I'm sure that one was a hard top white that it receded all the way into the trunk. That, it was that's an expensive that's true. car. car. It, the anyway, <laughs> when, when, when we were in Malibu, we went for. A specific reason we went to go get, get... your ass out of Malibu, Lebowski. <laughs> yeah, we went to go recreate that scene. No, we went. I was about to say, really? No. Yeah, yeah we went Sean, to some Sean, guy's house, got yeah. so fucked up, ran through the streets, had the police take us so we could recreate the scene. For me, Big that Lebowski. Malibu got rid of their police department, which doesn't surprise me, but given the context of the Big Lebowski, is disappointing to hear. Yeah, Damn. but the uh, we went to go get an obese burrito. The newborn baby burrito Dude, diet part Chipotle, two. Chipotle burrito. Oh, pre- I know. Pretty, pretty big burritos. They make. I'm pretty, pretty sure I've already been over it. And in one episode, right? I don't yeah, like that's right. Yeah. The newborn baby burrito I'm, diet. Look, I was at Chipotle a few days ago. Just this was today. twice the size, at least. Yeah. Like you no, know, this that's thing nutty. that he's talking this, about. This oh. we had. the one we got. Oh, oh. It, it was nutty. insane, dude. That my my way to gauge the the thickness of fast food is how pissed off you would be if someone threw it at the back of your head. <laughs> A lesser person Concussion. would get knocked to the ground, dude. <laughs> like, like th- this would throw a small person off balance if you hit them in the back of the head. Right, like you're seeing those videos of people just wailing yoga balls at kids' faces. Oh yeah. no, the no. best are the pillows, like, oh, like a yeah, heavy yeah. set pillow or right. or bl- like a weighted blanket. And like dude. it was dense enough, like that would take someone down. Dude. Like if you were not, if expecting- you throw it off an overpass, it could kill somebody. <laughs> it would crack the wind. It would crack the windshield for sure. Oh dude. yeah, well, Jesus, it got, it got not, some, it's some the, density in that the, bitch. The one that I got had every single meat on the menu. Dude, it was like it was like Wayne eating a sausage. Meat. It was like eating a fucking sausage. It was so <laughs> protein like a dense. giant girthy sausage, <laughs> like that big, the sausage. It had Jesus. ham, bacon, Taking OG chorizo. Mud bone over there. It had beef. <laughs> it had steak, chicken. It. I don't think it had chicken. It had every red meat imaginable. It had yeah. every meat on the menu of that this place Except had. Except for chicken. And the, the weird chicken wasn't on the fucking menu. The, it had everything, man, and it, the all, all even like theirs was a little smaller than mine. They were all so big that that we had ate half of them and then had the rest later. The, like that's, the, it was, and believe it or not, enormous. sixteen bucks. Like that wasn't bad that's at all. Ba- that was bad. actually really good price. Sixteen bucks to feel like I, I just got ate a child. Yeah, to feel like I, <laughs> yeah. I just ate an entire baby twice. <laughs> it was fucking insane. So yeah, we we bagged that's them a man's up. burrito right there. Bagged them up, put them in the back seat. This was the day we weren't going to the festivals, like the day in the middle. So we went and did others. So we we were taking a, a a lovely drive, uh, just around, you know, just vibing around. And Sean in the back seat of his car, to, I guess to no one's surprise, that just has a loose bowling ball just sitting on the seat. What on the, the seat. seat. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah, on the, the back which, seat? Yes. On the back seat. Which, by the way, if he got into an accident, it would come forward and kill him. But anyway. <laughs> 100%. anyway the, That's but, why I took mine out of my that, car. That didn't enter my head until after SUV. we had left LA. I, I didn't think about that. It wasn't in a that. bag or anything. It was it's not the in a bag. It was, the seat. it was a loose bowling oh, ball just rolling yeah, around. What the fuck? When he turned, it would move. When he hit the... when What, it would just hit the fucking door? Sean, Sean, we were on the highway and Sean almost rear-ended a guy. So naturally, he slams on the brakes and the bowling ball comes flying forward <laughs> just, hits the back of, of, of my seat and slams down onto the floor of the car oh annihilating the leftovers of our burrito <laughs> <laughs> it's nah, squishing the, a baby yeah the, the, the <laughs> way this goes what did that land on <laughs> I look my over burrito <gasps> the burrito <laughs> 
And there was that's where you just mix it all up and go and just cut it in three separate places. No, man, we, we, we kind of just left it there until like the end of the day when yeah. we we're gonna pull everything out. Nick goes to lift up the bag, and the, it, it had it had crushed these. We had numerous containers of ketchup and salsa. Yeah. Oh, it God. had crushed all these all containers of, of ketchup oh, and no. salsa, blown them all up, which was eating away at the bag. So when he lifted it up, it the bottom br- fell out. Oh, it was God. God. That ketchup, disgusting. salsa, burrito juice all it was over like the interior. Show. Did anyone like ever clean that up, by organs. the way? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sean, yeah. if you're listening, I'm so fucking sorry, man. <laughs> He, he just has there's no reason. The there, there's no reason. I mean, to yeah. be honest, you should have cleaned it up because it was your fault. But fuck uh, you. <laughs> yeah, I put the bowling ball there. No, he, 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 he saw it. Like he saw it. If that's if that's what he decided to do. <laughs> Sean has a science experiment in the back seat now. Yeah, no, it probably, he's growing up. Dude. You monkey yeah. on the back <laughs> floor. <of his> <laughs> He's gonna hear gurgling coming from the back seat. Oh, oh Wayne's burrito oh, came to life. <laughs> Dude, honestly, and we ate those burritos for breakfast the next day. They were fucking great. Yeah, man. I mean, mine good. looked like a pancake. <laughs> it looked like a bowling ball had fallen off. Yeah. Yeah. Mine it was the like fig- a had the finger holes in it. <laughs> His really was a pancake, bro. He had to eat it with a fork and knife. He did. He did have to. I'm not joking. That's a matter of fact. Dude, and like, you know how you put like leftovers in the microwave for maybe like a minute, minute yeah. and a half? They're warm. 30 seconds. I had to yeah. put that shit in the microwave for three, three minutes. minutes. Three wow. whole ass That's how minutes. much was that's left. Just the leftovers. That's, that's, and it was wow. a pancake Boy. for efficiency, too. And it, and it still took yeah. three minutes. At that point, you might as well just tear it to shreds, put it on a plate, and then just heat it up like that. I know, because I was doing like a minute at a time, like, dude, this yeah, feels just like to it make sure, came yeah. out of the freezer. Yeah. 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 That's literally the worst is when, like, you microwave something, and it's like, and it's steaming, it's popping, yeah. doing all this other crazy shit, and you take it out, and you're taking a few bites, and then you hit a cold spot, and it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I can't believe how cold it got in LA for you guys some nights. Yeah, I mean, it was, it, the, the temperature was more or less the same as it was here. Yeah. It was just like, like, a point or or two the warmer dip, during the day, and dip then a lot lower or something, like, like five ish degrees cooler at night. Yeah. Right, okay. especially where the festival was, it was like right on the beach. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> the, the, yeah. Sean was like, Sean was like, oh, yeah. I gotta bring my hoodie tomorrow. I'm, I was about to get hypothermia last. Yeah, night. that's what he said. <laughs> oh God, it, it was dude, still like, it was like, it was like 50 55 degrees. degrees. <laughs> it, it was not that cold. <laughs> like Sean, shut the fuck dude, up. What about though when you uh, like walked up to Sean or whatever and he hit his head on the pipe or something? He like said like. I've been drinking, and he fell backwards and oh, hit his dude. head on the fence. Yeah, dude. So John Fogarty, John Fogarty of CCR, was one of the events. I'm sitting on the beach waiting for him near the front, and Wayne. This is like the one period of time where Sean, Wayne, and myself were completely separated. I was and we had for no like reception, a half an hour. We could not cut. And then each I other. see Sean walking on the beach. He's stumbling, mm. walk, like back and forth. He gets up to me. I'm like, "Yo, Sean." He goes, "Hey, hey Sean." Hey. I'm leaning against a metal fence. Sean puts his hand on the fence to lean. Trips, hits his head on the fence, Jesus. lays on the ground on his face, and rolls over. I'm like, dude, are you okay? <laughs> He's like, dude, I've been at the Tito's place. I've been, I've been over there. I've been with the, the I've been <laughs> Tito's. I've been <laughs> Tito's. See a lot of Tito's. The, the blue drinks. <laughs> like, holy shit, you are on the verge of death. <laughs> the blue drink man Sean Sean had that master though to his credit man Sean yeah. both days we were at the festival came all the way up and then all the way down enough to drive yeah both wow. times god damn good and for like, him you know drive as good as Sean drives you know <laughs> uh, <laughs> drunk yeah. or sober yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah he probably wouldn't be probably wouldn't be different he gets better when he has a couple of drinks <laughs> honestly <laughs> so, yeah. he gets more steady <laughs> to talk a little bit about Sean's driving one thing I did have to say and I have to compliment him on out of everybody I personally know, he's probably the best parallel parker. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's actually, I, I mean, I you kind of have to. Yeah. For, yeah, for, oh, yeah. But yeah. he's good at it. Like, we probably watched him park like eight, nine times. Mm-hmm. Does he he only some, had to go out once to readjust. I was going to say, does he make it. any room and floor it in reverse, floor it forward? <laughs> no, he, 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 he's he, good at he it. He nailed it. He nailed, he nailed it. it. Like, there was only one, he made one error one time out of like and 10. And you crucified him for it. <laughs> Shut up. I probably gave him a little bit of shit. I just up. sat and thought about it. No, I, the, I, I probably gave him like a bit of about his shit. But I, like, gave, oh. I made a point to tell him like, dude, you're actually like good at this. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, Sean's driving. You know what else? Uh, Oh yeah, we got Sean's driving. Piece. Should we talk about Sean's car? The, oh. the, Sean had like a Sean, Sean. Sean got a flat tire one day. He tells us this story. Sean gets a flat tire. He he puts the the car up on the jack to uh, to change a tire, 
and then he had it like in the wrong spot or something. Uh, did it just? And the, the the I don't know. The wind blew and the car shifted, and the 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 car fell down onto the jack and ripped a little piece of trim off the door, a piece of plastic trim. Oh, yeah. okay. And, and it, it was hanging on by it like was, two clips yeah, out of like eight. It was hanging so it was on by on two plastic and trim. Barely. And it was kind of it was totally fine the whole day we were driving around until. One day it I w- started with me actually. It started with you. Yeah. So you let me take the blame for this the whole time. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck you. So, <laughs> so we parked the burritos. <laughs> we parked around, somewhere around Hollywood Boulevard to go look at this record store, which I like. And we get out. I open the door, and the fucking trim just hits the curb, and like it didn't break off more, but it was definitely in worse shape. Yeah. I was like, dude, these curbs are fucking. The curb was like a foot off the ground. Like yeah, it was a you, big you, curb. You know, you know when you, you you drove a car at one point, Walter. You drive like an actual car, not a truck or an SUV. Sometimes when the when the, the curb is high, high. Mm-hmm. Oh. In, a, in a residential oh, yeah. area, the door goes into the dirt. Yep, hundred percent. There was no dirt. It yeah, was just concrete. it was concrete. It was concrete. So that's Nick, what I used. To, that's what I used to do with the 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 jet. The jet if, if I opened uh-huh. up the door and if we were in Philly or something, I opened up the door. Yep. I'm opening up that door through the concrete. I'm opening up the door. <laughs> yeah. And I just go, shh. Yeah. So I open That works the, fine when there's not a piece of trim hanging the door off the door. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I open it. It got a little messed up. It was hanging off one up. strand. It was already off the car, kind of. Yeah. And then it was a little more off the car when I was done with it. So then we go to the record store. Then we take then turns we go, in the front seat. So yeah. Wayne sat in the front seat. So what if I, Sean listens to these? <laughs> I mean, this already happened. We yeah, already, it's like, too late. The punchline's on its way. Yeah. So I get into the car. I open the door way too, too Aggressively. far open. And it's, it's already, it was fucked. Nick fucked it more. And I fucked it again, again. even yeah. harder. And I, I'm like, fuck, dude. The car. We sh- in retrospect, we I should have like tilted the car. I should have had Sean pull, just pull up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that, that way would have. It would have mitigated that a little bit. Yeah. I just pulled the door shut. And it. <laughs> It, it took out one or two more clips, so it was hanging on by one clip. Yeah, and that's the, rough. The, the the trim was hanging off like from the rear of the passenger side door, pointed forward. So as we're driving, it's <laughs> scraping on the ground. Yeah, and it's pretty much Jesus. not an issue. It's yeah. pretty much not an issue at all. You know, it's a quote unquote not an issue. Well, no, that's it's, it's pretty it's not, much not an issue. It's just scraping on the ground. It's not like being violent. It's just it's not metal or anything. Yeah, it's, 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 it's plastic. plastic. It's, 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 plastic. A, it's a five dollar plastic thing at the end of the day. So the we're totally good. We get on and the then highway. we go on the highway. Oh. So we, we go on the highway <laughs> and it starts scraping and shaking violently, making a ton of a noise. noise. Like yeah. slapping the uh-huh. door and, and shit. I, I look, I'm like, I look out the peek out the window. I'm like, he puts damn. like his upper body out the yeah. window. Look I'm at like, that. damn, hey, th- this is fucking hanging on really good. <laughs> and Sean, Sean just smacks the shit out of out of the steering the steering wheel, goes the Japanese sure know how to build them. And <laughs> on midway cue, through that, like midway a through that sentence, sentence. the piece flies off on the highway. <laughs> Boom. There's like a, a vintage convertible like Mercedes Benz driving right behind us. Oh no. And like the, I saw it. Sean saw it. Of course, in the rear view, we're just like time stood still. Everyone was just, <gasps> we, thought, we thought this piece of trim was going to go through this, this vintage car's car. windshield and ruin Sean's insurance reputation for the rest of his life. life. <laughs> <laughs> It just flies off and the guy runs it over and it, Sean says he saw it spin off to the side of the road. It didn't happen. We, we, <laughs> it that didn't happen. Whatever, man. It was we in the road. Turn around. We're going to stop on the fucking yeah. 405 to pick up garbage. No, no, you're <laughs> right. It's already garbage. What are you talking about? The... the yeah, that was it. Was it was oh, so God. perfect? It's it literally you sure know how to build them, Bonk. and it just flies off. That's great. Jesus. It literally couldn't have been more fucking perfect. Ugh. At all, I'm still laughing. At it. Like I'm about to cry <laughs> thinking about it. It's so funny. Yeah. After that tragic incident, we uh, took a little trip to a bar, had some drinks, uh, cigar lounge. We went to a cigar lounge, and then we went to pay way too much for cigars. <laughs> yeah, a little too much for cigars. It, it was what it was. Everything more expensive out there. And then we hit. McDonald's. Uh, McDonald's afterwards. Sweet tea. Just some sweet tea. Yeah, just to get a little bit of sweet tea. And, and Nick, Nick and Sean went inside. Crack. I still had my cigar, so I was staying outside. I see Nick and Sean go in, and like shortly after they go in, a guy comes out. He 
looks like the postman he went to the doom universe dude he <laughs> he he had long ass hair sunglasses facial hair was it was his shirt sleeveless yes he he tore the sleeves off of his <laughs> usps his uniform, uniform from the federal government he tore the sleeves off of it had That's his great. fucking guns out in a federal employee uniform That's and, great. He was wearing, and he was wearing a <clears throat> fucking plate carrier yeah he looked like what? the fucking <laughs> mailman from compton dude he That's was great. Like, That's <laughs> fucking <laughs> awesome. He was gonna go d- deliver dude, it, uh, mail to the fucking south side. I'm, I'm waiting for and my sweet BFG tea walking around. To play. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for the sweet tea, and I'm just walking around McDonald's. I see in the distance this guy just like with a plate carrier walking towards McDonald's, like, dude, this we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Yeah, and he like say it's kind of USPS fucking thing on his shirt. Yeah, I did a mobile order. I'll take that. And he just leaves. Like, what the fuck? Why? What is you see the baseball game in Compton? No, <laughs> some kids' little league team was playing in Compton, and it's like security camera footage behind like home plate, and yeah. it's like looking out towards the pitcher. And you, it's like everybody's cheering, and in between cheering, you hear gunshots, <laughs> and you literally see like bullets hit the field, but nobody notices. Jesus. But the camera picks it up. Oh my. And That's it's like fucked. it's like, can you believe the current state of America? Like you're in fucking Compton. It's <laughs> it's not the current state of America. You're in Compton. Compton. <laughs> you're at the current state of Compton. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like a, a certifiably uh, rough one. But the uh, after that, we did some Compton. We got a little bit of this and that. We, we went and got some delicious, authentic Mexican food. Where Nick will mm. back me up. I was hammering that extremely spicy salsa. Yeah, he this, actually we're coming all the way back in. to the spicy shit. I was the, just about to say, what happened to the yeah. spicy stuff? It, it didn't make it. It didn't make it on the list. But the, since you brought it up, it, the, there was there were two sauces. There was a mild one and a spicy one. They looked exactly the same. And they, they looked didn't tell completely us they were different. identical. No one <laughs> told us they were different. They put the spicy one in front of me. So I had nothing but the spicy one for like a long ass time. Sean was in the grave. Sean almost died because of this. <laughs> Sean he was lit- sweating in red. How hot was shit. it? It was like I would consider it. It was hot. It was hot. Okay. I it mean, was. Yeah. It was. It was still. Sean good. was nearly deceased. I was starting to sweat. Hotter than Frank's. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, easily. Are you fu- okay. I cook with Frank's. I'm, I'm a bitch, and I cook my fucking dinners with Frank's. The fucking the this fucking it was fucking. Sean was actually gonna die. Sean. <gasps> Jesus. Sean was starting to die, and th- th- this is like I'm pretty sure this is like a thing that works. Sean didn't call me an asshole afterwards, so I'm pr- like I never tried it, but I heard this works. Nick had a, a lemon in his water. I said, Sean, take Nick's lemon with his with his consent and and suck on the lemon. <laughs> yeah. It'll help with the spiciness. I'm not a chemist. I don't know how it works, but it helps. He goes, okay. He takes the lemon and just fucking bites into it. <laughs> like takes a fucking <laughs> orange. Yeah. yeah. He takes a no, bite with out of the skin. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he just eats the thing. He leaves the skin behind, and then later he starts eating the skin. Like he he takes he eats all the lemon out of the skin. The rind. He starts eating. Yes, he, he ate he, it. He starts eating the after independent of the lemon. The, the lemon is gone it's just the rind he starts taking little bites <laughs> the, the, like he, he did it like mid conversation we yeah. were talking about something Jesus he just takes Christ. a bite out of the rind we're casually. just both staring at him we like, both what stopped we were just like what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck what the Why? fuck would you do that <laughs> yeah stop get some help yeah we, like you you need to you need to find god that was not an old behavior man <laughs> Jesus, the, it Christ. was the it was fucking really really uh the food was good but after our, our dinner uh, and a little bit of downtime. There's we also went. a van on the roof of a building across the street. Did anyone take a picture of that? that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a picture <laughs> yeah, of it. I, I, nice. I took a snap. I was like, would you miss the stunt jump or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what you said. <laughs> uh, the, we went to go see a comedy show to close out the night. And yep. the, 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 there was a couple of really good comedians there. A couple that I really did like. The... What one lady went up who was a shitter. She really sucked. She went up and she had like a fifteen she minute bombed. set about having two kids. And she's like, "I'm a mom. Yeah, I'm blah, a mom. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you hate mom. it when your kids don't don't listen to what you say? It was it was all so <laughs> bad. Some it was common it was, bullshit. Like the, the, if I was a mom." I don't think that would be funny. Yeah. Oh, like, uh, I was going to go the other way. I say that uh, there were a few Snickers from the audience that sounded yeah, I, like, I like, see, like, like legitimate. Like maybe, maybe those two people had fucking kids. Right. But dude, going back to the, to the LA vanity like here, yeah. we're in fucking LA. People don't move out here to have yeah, kids. Yeah, this isn't a family town. Yeah, it's the, the whole fucking place is 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 for young people to go in this, and, and in go this fuck venue. people and get fucked until you you die or move out. That's right. It. You don't have a family in LA. And this venue happen. wasn't like near you neighborhood. You just don't pay attention to it. Yeah. It was in like, West family, Hollywood. Just leave. <laughs> like yeah. it was in like the most like not family oriented place of yeah. LA. Yeah, it so. was the, the, the that one was really that was terrible. Uh, I don't know who that lady was. You got to work on it, lady. You're not gonna make it. 
<laughs> You're not going to make it in this Stop. business. Get but the, uh, the, uh, the, there was a bunch of them that were really, really good. And it, it ended, the, 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 the venue was so small. We were sitting at the bar next to the comics that were all going up. Yeah. And it ended, their, their headliner was this crazy lady. Crazy is a good word to describe her. Was this insane person who was sitting at the bar next to us like the entire time. And she had like this, like a torn off piece of, of uh, spiral paper from like notebook paper from a spiral okay. notebook with the, like the, the, the torn edge still on it. And it was, it, you, it looked like she had, it, she had been stuffing it in and out of her pocket a million times. It was wrinkled all and crinkled crumpled and shit. Uh, with the jagged edge and there was shit scribbled all over it. And she was just drinking the whole time we were drinking. And then she gets up on stage and, with a keyboard and she she pulls out a synthesizer from the side of the stage i didn't it was there the whole time i didn't even notice she just whoop, yeah. pulls it over and just starts the, I, I i can't even remember anything she said but I she, don't know she was just she her, I, i'm going to get into character here she was just screaming like leaning on the synthesizer just like, random like with, shitty with, ass yeah, like, like, sound, just be just like the, what was that i uh, haven't slept in seven days <laughs> and she would just slam on it the what, what did she say to the Australian lady? Dude, I don't she, know. She goes, Have you ever heard of Groupon? And then screamed yeah. on the thing. And this Australian lady, the audience, I've got no fucking clue what that is. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then she just starts describing what Groupon is. It's a website. And then, like, just, <laughs> it's not even exaggerating. Yeah. The entire that's thing was just rude. that. Oh my God, and it was like fucking... that throaty screaming. Not really scre- It was like... like she's, she woke up the next morning without a voice. We should probably put a noise warning at the beginning of this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was... I compress it. No, we're good. Oh, okay. It was <laughs> so fucking funny. The The... It the it sounds not funny. It sounds like you would get tired of it. It was fucking hilarious. I wasn't even fucking hammered that day. It was just actually funny to hear it this lady rant like, and ramble. That was for, a once in a lifetime experience. Oh, I want to yeah. hear about the Darth Vader comedian again. Nick's eyes get real it's wide. Like Huckleberry Finn, you're allowed to do it. The yeah. the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the this the guy there was a guy who went up before her. He gets up on stage and he's got like his initial vibe was pretty rough. It like the like he he had like a notebook with him, kind of reminded me of the Joker from the Joker film. <laughs> just, like he had like he literally had a notebook up there with him, and he goes, "Hey, I'm uh, uh, just so you guys know." He's on uh, a Netflix show. Yeah, I'm on a uh, I'm on an, I'm on TV. I'm on Netflix. So help me Todd. I'm on this show. So called. help me Todd. Look it up. It's a real show. I know it doesn't sound like a real show. Everybody, look it up. And anyway, he he bullshits on about a bunch yeah. of nonsense. And and the, he was the, pretty funny. Yeah, he was he was pretty funny. And, and he was uh, he was picking on this girl in the in the audience like his whole set. Yeah. And he goes, uh, anyone here get, give the you there? You, do you give your your boyfriend's uh, dick a name? And she was like. Yeah, actually, I call it Darth Vader. And he, like before the, the she gets done saying Darth Vader, yeah. he st- he jumps down her throat and just screams, "It's because he's black!" <laughs> <laughs> and then she she throws her heads up and goes, "No, no, no!" And he goes, "What are you racist?" <laughs> yeah, pointing at her, "What are you racist?" <laughs> he's on stage with a spotlight on him, screaming Jesus at some like twenty year old girl, "Are you racist?" <laughs> it was it was so out of nowhere. Sean spit his drink out <laughs> like. On the bar, just yeah. like oh god, this is great. Glasses, yeah. like, Sean <laughs> shot a vodka coke out his nose yeah. on the on the bar top. It was so fucking funny, dude. Oh, it was so out of nowhere. It was, it was out of I nowhere. Think, I think that's the best. When yeah. Something's oh just yeah. Out of nobody nowhere, saw no that coming. Yeah. Nobody saw that coming. <laughs> But so, yeah, the only other thing about California we have to talk about, because we've literally been talking about it for over an hour. I was going to say, we should probably save everything for next, next no, episode. No, yeah, you're right. Because it will be a two-hour <laughs> long episode. <laughs> yeah, if we yeah. no, the only other thing really uh, to note is that the Black Crows was the last band we saw. Yeah. Dude, the guy who <laughs> sings looks like your dad. Looks Damn, like really? your dad, we're but if he never it. left like the '60s and kept the yeah. hippie hair, like Damn. me and Wayne were just watching him, and we we're both drunk, and I was looking at Wayne, I'm like, "Dude, Yo. tell me that is not Kevin's dad." No, this, this, this is goes, a really good picture right here. This is a really good Kevin's really dad picture of the fucking guy, dude. That just looks like him with a bunch more hair. It does. It, it does. Dude, it very the, much does. The, we're like we were just. I was name like Chris based. Robinson or something. Uh, yeah, Chris Robinson. Yeah, Chris Robinson. Dude, it was so funny the, he, to see this guy. Yeah, that that was, we didn't finish there, right? We were like, "Let's get the fuck out of yeah, here." Yeah, we left like two <laughs> songs after, or like before they were leaving. Yeah, they said, "Oh man, 
That was a really good one, though. Yeah, then we flew home, and that was uh, okay at best. <laughs> yeah, the the flight home was uneventful. Uh, but yeah, at, like Kevin just said. Um, well, we're drinking we got, Mexican we, soul tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. It's at Mexican the very soul. end, it's, it's just good. soul. Soul cerveza. But it's from Mexico. Then, original de Mexico. Avocados from Mexico. Once we got home, <laughs> we were home for like an hour, and then you were going to bed, right? Want to talk about that a little bit, dude? I had I, so I, I talked I, to Kevin first. I was like, "Yo, dude, do you want to fucking like?" Yeah, Nick just said, "Hey, you want to you want to come over and have a fire or have a few drinks?" And I when he said, "Or you want to come over here and have a few drinks and have a fire?" I said, "Sure, just come over." I, the I I I got home. I threw my bags down. Uh, I talked with my mom for like an hour. I grabbed a quick bite to eat. I went to my bedroom. I took off my shirt. I took off my pants. He I said, peeled Fuck off my one. socks. Peeled them off. Yeah, I pe- I was wearing them all fucking day. I know, I know. I peeled off my socks at the end of that long day. I lit a candle. I turned off the lights. I, like and died. I, my head wasn't on the fucking pillow for two fucking minutes, and my phone rings as fucking Nick. Yo, you want to go grab a couple beers with Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck That's it, all sure. we had done for five I days. I put all my gross clothes back on and went <laughs> back out the door, and I just fuck it. <laughs> I pick out whatever. the same socks? Probably not the same socks. That's disgusting. Say, yeah. Yeah. We, we talked about this before, I think. I, that, that's so fucking gross. Yep. I'd, I'd sooner wear an old pair of underwear before I wore an old pair of <laughs> yeah. socks. I, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like uh, like uh, Kevin said, we had a bunch more shit written down, but the uh, we had an obscenely long block of our talking points was just this entire Cali, LA yeah. nonsense. We yeah. don't have to have any ideas for next week. I know. Oh, I we keep good. putting them. It's never a bad oh, idea. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there will, be, there will never be another short podcast again because yeah, of this never. one. Yeah. We're going to so have this a lot one of all over, yeah. brother. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. There might be. I need be. to piss so bad, and I have indigestion. So that okay. is a perfect segue to <laughs> yeah. Wrap it yeah. Up. So because Kevin has to take a piss, and we've been talking about our trip to LA for an hour and seven. Don't minutes forget now. about his uh, his um his, acid uh, reflux. Okay, wait. He's got, do I have acid reflux? Go to the, 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 the. You can't just okay. say he has to piss. He also I, has I, had, I, had to, I had to take my my uh, my heartburn. Oh, did you? Night. Are we at the doctor? Are we talked about health issues now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyway, the doctor, right? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's the deal with doctors? <laughs> What's the deal with? Thank you for listening to the Uncut Takes podcast. Be sure to subscribe, follow, favorite wherever you listen. We're on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, so Podcasts fast. Overcast. You're trying I'm to not let me. As fast as possible. <laughs> I'm not that letting you interrupt. Good. That was pretty that was, good. Yeah, it was pretty good. I have it written down in front of me. It's not hard to read. Well, for some of us. <laughs> <laughs> looks directly at me. Go <laughs> fuck yourself. All right. Sorry I, I, that I stutter and shit like that. I have a so reading sorry. problem. <laughs> I'm just, uh, d- 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 We're on Twitter and Instagram slow. at Uncut Takes. Uh, like the tweets. Interact with the tweets. Thank you for listening and stay uncut.